Have CPMs kept pace with the current increased viewership on YouTube? Watch this video to find out. With an increase of viewership from anywhere between 9% to 63%, Starting March, more people than ever are watching YouTube. But while viewership numbers are the best they've been, ad revenues appear to be going in the opposite direction. According to a recent article on TubeFilter, YouTuber creator and VidCon co-founder Hank Green tweeted a request for fellow creators to share their CPMs. This call appeared to have been prompted by the 28% CPM drop in Hank Green's own network over the past 28 days. In an increasing bit of synchronicity, 28 YouTube creators provided their CPM data in response to Green's tweet and nearly all reported varying drops in CPM. The sole channel that actually reported a 2% increase was Medlife Crisis, a science channel by cardiologist John Rohan Francis. With the world economy disrupted by the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, companies dialing back advertiser spending and being more thoughtful about where they spend it was to be expected. Coupled with even more content being produced, there are just fewer ad dollars to go around. So what does this mean for creators? This means that alternate revenue streams have now become much more important. Crowdfunding platforms like Patreon and subscription services such as YouTube Premium can help make up for the lost ad revenue. For live streaming, there's Super Chat and Super Stickers. Additionally, we also have a couple of services that could help. If you keep getting your videos stolen and uploaded by other people, check out Aegis. It's a digital rights service that can help you maximize your revenue earning from unlicensed use of your content. Check them out at Aegis.tm. You can also help your fans help you without having to donate cash through Ignis. A great way to get cashless fun funding, find out more at ignis.tm. While the drop in ad revenue is definitely going to affect the majority of creators, alternative revenue sources can help soften the blow and would be well worth the time to look into. Share any other revenue stream you think creators should know about in the comment section below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell icon. See you again in the next episode. Goodbye!